Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript problem from lead code whose name is execute asynchronous functions in parallel. So yeah, this is a medium problem and let's get started by reading the problem statement first. And we have given an array of asynchronous functions, functions and we have to return the new promise and each function in the array accepts no arguments and return a promise. And uh, we are talking about this promise when this promise resolve when all the promise returned from these functions which is passed array were resolved successfully and the result promise value of the promise should be the uh, resolved values of these all uh, re resolved promises which is passed as an array and when any of the promise uh, will reject when any of the promise returned from this function were rejected the promise should also reject with the reason for the first rejection so we are uh, just asked in this problem to implement our own promise dot all behavior which is just takes all the promises and an, as an array and returns the value of all these promises if and only all these promises resort successfully otherwise it will reject with the uh, reason of rejection if any one of these promise will reject so yeah so yeah let's get started the first example is uh, this input we have passed functions array and this array is consist of one one arrow function which is returning a new promise which is resolving with value 5 after 200 milliseconds so yeah because this is only promise which is resolving and so we have to output after 200 milliseconds with the answer which is the resolved value here which is 5 in this case and in the second example uh, we have passed two promises the first one is resolving after 200 milliseconds with value 1 and another is rejected with error after 100 milliseconds so yeah the first one resolving another rejecting so the final answer will be error which is the rejection region yeah that's all and let's get the execution part here so first the first approach will be to just using then and catch statement so yeah so because we are asking to return a new promise so yeah we are returning new promise and inside this promise and let's call a sync and resolve reset this is accepting two parameters first one is resolving and another is rejecting you can name anything you want yeah and inside this let's create our answer which is our array and which is now empty so we can create this using array constructor and the size will be of the yeah uh, the spelling of const is wrong yeah and let's also create length variable which is the length of this input array which is functions dot dot length and this new arrow will be of length plain and next we will iterate over the functions array which is this And now we need to execute each and every promise and store the resulting this uh, array which is answer in our case and if anyone uh, is rejected we should reject this uh, past promise with the reason otherwise resolve this promise with all the value of this uh, functions array yeah so let's uh, our elements will be functions i and because all the elements are promises so we are executing it and inside then if if the promise is resolved inside then a statement we are calling an arrow function and which is expecting value 
एंड वी आर एस स्टोरिंग द वैल्यू एट इंडेक्स विच इज द इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस फंक्शन बिकॉज इन आवर क्वेश्चन वी हैव आस्क टू आउटपुट इन सेम ऑर्डर एज इट इज पास्ट इन द इनपुट सो एट इंडेक्स लेट्स रीनेम इट इंडेक्स फॉर बेटर रिडेबिलिटी एट है आंसर्स इंडेक्स वी आर स्टोरिंग वेल एंड इंक्रीमेंटिंग आवर काउंट लेट्स ऑल्सो क्रिएट काउंट हेयर विच इज इनिशियली जीरो वाई वी आर यूजिंग काउंटर वेरिएबल सो एट एनी टाइम आवर काउंटर लेंथ इज इक्वल्स टू द लेंथ ऑफ द इनपुट वी मीन दैट आवर ऑल प्रोमिस आर रिजोल्व सो वी विल सिंपली रिजोल्व दिस रिटर्न प्रोमिस विथ दिस वैल्यू सो ओके एंड इफ सी टी इज एनी टाइम इक्वल्स टू द लेंथ देन वी विल रिजोल्व विथ आंसर या I hope you understand this, and let's also catch this. If the uh, promise index i uh, index uh, here, yeah, element of this function is promise, and if this resolves, then the code inside then is executed. Otherwise, we have to catch this. So in the uh, inside catch, let's accept error and reject with. error yeah and this should work so let's run this ha ah, why we are getting wrong answer here rejected Yeah, because here it is I N D. Yeah, now you see in the first one, resolved another one, input is of two, two length. Then the second one is rejecting, so our answer will be rejected. And in the third one, all promises are resolved. So yeah, resolved with the value of this. The first one is solving with four, another one with ah, uh, where it is ten, and the last one with six. So yeah, hope you understand this. This was the approach one. So now just simply copy and commenting the first approach. We can use this await and async, async await syntax to do this same. So for this, we will just. remove this part and let's say try catch block try when promise is resolved otherwise catch catch with error and we will reject the return promise with error value okay just simple so now inside this we are just repeating this thing so inside that try block yeah and let's say mm, yeah let's create a val first let val is equals to await for this we need to make this function async yeah this function needs to be async for using await syntax so yeah let val is equals to awaiting functions index and then executing it after this function is invoked we are awaiting the awaiting for the response of this promise and then storing it inside val and now is uh, storing the val into the index of this answer 
and finally incrementing our counter variable and at any time the counter is equal to length we are just resolving our return promise which is this with the value of this array and this array contains what all the resolved value of this functions added otherwise any time we got any error we are just rejecting our return promise with this error value but here is a catch because we are using for loop here <coughs> inside this for loop we are awaiting for every promise until this promise is not resolved let's say this is resolving after uh, the first one is resolving after 100, uh, 150 milliseconds so this will take 100, uh, 150 milliseconds another one takes uh, second one takes yeah first one takes 50 milliseconds so first promise uh, the first this line takes 50 millisecond another time this loop execute thus another time this line takes 150 milliseconds so 200 milliseconds and now at the third time this will also take 100 milliseconds so final execution time will be 300 milliseconds so if we run this yeah the first one is same because there is only one element in the functions array and now we see that time is 99 but we got 300 milliseconds third time 150 but we got 300 milliseconds so basically this is awaiting for the response to be resolved otherwise just catch so this will not, not work for us because the question was asking for uh, at this line yeah the question is asking for us to resolve these promises in parallel like promise dot all so we can do let's just copy this also and we can use something like for each loop so let's remove this line everything will be same only just replacing the for each uh, for with for each loop and this for each loop uh, accepts an uh, function let's call it async and using array, uh, arrow function syntax and first one is element which is our function function of functions and next one is index and everything will be same so we don't need this we can just simply replace this function you can do this but we have function so just now yeah see now this is working fine the second one is executing in 100 milliseconds but uh, this code was taking 300 milliseconds so basically in this in this code we are using traditional for loop to iterate through the function array and inside the loop we are using await syntax for to wait for each promise to resolve before moving to the next iteration this means that the promise are executed sequentially oh sorry yeah promises are resolved sequentially one after the other and this leads to the longer total execution of time and the total execution time is the sum of all the execution times but uh, in the updated version we are using for each loop to iterate through the function array and inside for each loop we are passing a callback function which is expecting two parameters function and index this is just an element fancy name for element yeah mm, yeah and inside this we are also awaiting but the difference is that the for each loop itself doesn't wait for the promises and it, XR, it starts executing all the promises concurrently and we got the parallelism behavior here so the first function is taking 50 milliseconds to resolve second one is taking 100 milliseconds 150 milliseconds and third one 100 milliseconds so until the first one is scheduled for 50 milliseconds and in fi uh, next one is for 150 milliseconds and the third one for 100 milliseconds so three all are scheduled first one resolve after 50 milliseconds second one after uh, 150 third one after 100 
so the total time taken by this is the sum of uh, sorry maximum of these three time in milliseconds so we got 100 milliseconds here yeah i give example of third one so 150 milliseconds here so hope i was able to explain this and let's discuss the time and space complexity so just for this problem we are returning a new promise and inside this promise we are just traversing over the uh, our input array so the time complexity will result in uh, big of input size and let's say input size here is a big of in and we are not using any extra uh, yeah we are using extra space here just to store our answer so a space complexity will resolve in big of n which is just for this storing the value of the return promise so hope i was able to explain this properly and you also understand this so yeah if you find this helpful you know what to do let's submit this yeah it got accepted and let's submit the first one also Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.